In this example, the motor is on the right and the pump or fan is on the left. The 830 has a menu option that allows you to switch that configuration to match the real world. Open up the 830 case and pull out the quick reference guide. Use this to help you step through the alignment. Inside the case, you see the 830 computer, the laser sensor module, the prism module, both on pre-assembled bracket assemblies. Remove the laser sensor bracket and place it on the shaft on the left side of the coupling. Run the chain underneath the shaft and insert the end of the chain through the far end of the bracket. The link of the chain straddles the small post. Mount the laser as low as possible but high enough to clear the coupling. Then turn the thumb wheel to tighten the chain. Center the bracket on the shaft and then give the thumb wheel another turn to secure the assembly. Remove the prism assembly from the right side of the case and place it on the shaft to the right side of the coupling. Route the chain underneath the shaft and secure it to the bracket assembly, just like with the laser assembly. Tighten the yellow knobs. Turn the wireless module on. It's located underneath the laser sensor. See the lights power on and the laser dot underneath the protective cover. Remove the sensor cover. Manually center the laser dot in the crosshair on the prism dust cap. Turn on the alignment tool and it will automatically come up to the setup screen. The diagram on the screen will guide you through each measurement. The first dimension is the distance between the sensor and the prism. Just use the markers on the top of each module. Enter the number into the 830 and press enter to accept. Next, measure and enter the distance between the sensor to the center of the coupling, then the coupling diameter, and then type in the RPM closest to your actual machine speed. Next, measure and enter the distance from the center of the coupling to the front foot of the right machine, usually the motor. And finally, the distance between the front foot and the back foot of the right machine. When you're finished, simply press enter one last time and the 830 automatically advances to the next step and the measure screen appears. Now you're ready for the second step of the alignment, measure. Here's how to take an alignment measurement. From the setup step, the 830 automatically advances to the measure screen. Before we start our measurements, check to make sure the laser and prism are lined up. Turn the shaft until the brackets are at the top. Remove the prism dust cap and adjust the laser beam dot to the center of the box on the 830 screen by using the thumb wheel and the adjustment knob on the prism. The thumb wheel will make a vertical adjustment and the yellow knob will make horizontal adjustments. Once the laser dot is centered, you will see laser ready on the screen. Some important hints. Turn the machine shaft in the same direction of normal rotation to reduce coupling backlash. Start on one side and continue to the other side without changing directions. Don't use the modules or the mounting brackets to rotate the shaft. Rotate the shaft manually by holding on to the shaft itself or the coupling. If you have to, you can use a shaft strap to turn a shaft. We're ready to begin our measurements. Rotate the machine shaft to the first measurement position. On the 830 screen, you will see the laser sensor moving on the shaft as you take your three measurements. When one of the eight sections turns green, press enter to actually capture the measurement. When the measurement's completed in a couple of seconds, the 830 will verify the measurement is completed by showing the sector turn fluke yellow. Rotate the shaft to another sector. When the new section turns green, Press enter to take measurement number two. Rotate the shaft one more time and take the third measurement. The third sector will turn fluke yellow. On the last measurement, the 830 automatically advances to the final step, diagnose. 
Here's how to diagnose misalignment with the Fluke 830 laser shaft alignment tool. From the measure step earlier, the 830 automatically advances to the diagnose screen. The all-in-one screen is broken into three regions. On the upper left of the 830 screen, we see the misalignment values, vertical gap and offset, and the horizontal gap and offset. These numbers are the misalignment values at the coupling center. Just above the misalignment values, the 830 provides a four-level severity scale on the alignment condition based on tolerance tables. This allows you to know at a glance if the alignment is within tolerance or grossly misaligned, requiring action. On the right side of the screen, the 830 displays the correction answers. No guesswork or calculations but the 830 tells you exactly what correction adjustments are needed to align the shaft of your machine. To make these corrections, simply loosen the motor foot bolts, jack up the machine, and add or remove precision shims of known thickness. Use the vertical foot correction values on the upper right of the 830 screen to shim both front and back feet. Negative numbers indicate motor feet are high and you need to remove shims. Positive numbers indicate feet are low and you need to add shims. The yellow arrows on the 830 screen aid in the direction the motor needs to be moved. Once the shims are in place, tighten bolts and use the horizontal live mode to finish the corrections. This is accomplished by pressing Enter to automatically advance to Menu. Select the Move icon, and a screen pops up to tell you to move the sensor to one of the 45-degree positions. Rotate the shaft to any of the four 45-degree positions, and another screen pops up asking for the direction of the live move. Select Horizontal. We now see the horizontal live screen on the 830, which helps us make our adjustments in real time and watch the color-coded tolerance bar as we move the machine until the color bar turns green. Loosen the motor hold-down bolts and move the machine using jack bolts in the direction of the yellow arrows on the 830 screen. You will see the horizontal correction values under the left and right motor feet get close to zero as the motor shaft gets into alignment. Watch the color-coded tolerance bar. When the indicating line is in the green or yellow region, tighten the anchor bolts. Now we're ready for a remeasure. Press Enter again to automatically advance to remeasure. Press the Enter button to select Stop and Measure. Just like before, in the measurement section, you're going to take three quick readings to confirm that the alignment job is complete. Check your final alignment condition. Yellow is good and green is excellent. Then save the data and print a report document. Finally, switch the 830 off, remove the bracket assemblies from the shaft, and store them in the case. Check the machine with your vibration tester and return the machine back to service. The Fluke 830 laser alignment tool will give you the information you need to correct misalignment that's causing wear in bearings, couplings, and seals, wasting time, energy, and money. It's the easiest way to quickly align your machine and get it back in operation fast.